What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with that real, real boxing talk. Let's enter the boxing clinic, you dig. And, um, you know, apparently Eddie Hearn got a lot of backlash, even for the untelevised portion of the Crawford and Dongo uh, fight, because he's co-promoting with uh, with Bob Arum, and he's paying the purse for Dylan White, and his next opponent is going to be on the untelevised portion in uh, Nebraska. And uh, he took a lot of backlash for, for having Michael Grant, 50-year-old, almost 50-year-old ass, um, try to fight Dylan White in his United States debut um, for the simple fact that they was talking all that shit. They was like, we sent this many offers to Deontay Wilder. We sent this offer to Deontay Wilder. And then Amir Mansour, you know, tried to inquire about fighting him. He told, and he was told by Dylan White people and team that Dylan White was trying to fight a tall right-hander to get ready for Deontay Wilder. Um, this ain't the way, you know. That wasn't the way, and this definitely ain't the way. Uh, Malcolm Tan, um, 38-year-old heavyweight, um, Born in North Carolina, I think he's fighting out of Scottsdale, Arizona now. Um, 24 and 5 um, is his record. And I believe he got knocked out a few times as well. And he's 38 years old, you know. And Dylan White is taking on this guy like this is a major upgrade. Um, you know, he's fighting a guy nine years, I believe, younger than than originally uh, he was supposed to fight Michael Grant. Then Michael Grant is 47. This guy's 38 years old. He had a... Um, he had a, um, how can I say it? He had a surprise upset victory over, I guess, a rising heavyweight prospect. His name was Nick Asbury. Um, not not a high household name, but he had a surprise upset. And then, you know, his last fight, he got knocked out, I believe, and lost. And then the White is Captain Saberhoe trying to fight any, uh, any, any bums. You know, when I say bum, I mean not so good fighters that he can find. He not trying to fight none of the, the mid-grade guys. Or the guys like Amir Mansour, or Travis Kaufman, you know, Dominic Brazil. He's not trying to fight nobody like that. You know, he's trying to get an easy victory, you know, and he's trying to keep his record clean and come off with another win. And so he can act like he's uh, he's he's ready and he's willing to fight um, for Deontay Wilder. Why he ain't fight nobody in the top 10 or 15 of the, the uh, WBC to get in a position to try to fight Wilder. And this shit is crazy. But, um, you know, it's his prerogative. That's why he ain't on TV. And it's about we gone.